The Pittsburgh Pirates have announced a series of non-roster invitations, including a veteran. Welcome back to the channel. This is Gillis TV here on Clem Hawks. And if you're new to the channel, don't be shy to hit that subscribe button as we are only three away from our goal of 4,000. And all we do is cover any MLB news, rumors, trades, whatever it is here on the channel. We got it for you. Now, like I said, the Pirates announced a series of non-roster invitations to spring training today, revealing within those series of non-rostered invitations is that they have signed utility man Chris Owings to a minor league contract. The Aces client will be in camp and fight for a bench job with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Owings is still just 31, but has appeared in each of the past 10 big league seasons, suiting up for the D-backs, Royals, Red Sox, Rockies, and Orioles along the way. He spent the 2022 season with the Yankees and Orioles organizations, getting into 27 big league games with Baltimore, but posting just a .104 batting line and 68 trips to the plate. That's the opposite end of a small sample spectrum from the similar brief 2021 run with the Rockies for whom he slashed a luxurious 3 or .326 batting line in 21 games which was 50 trips to the plate. Overall, Owings career is hitting wise is a 239 average with 37 big fly, 79 stolen bases, 712 big league games which Includes 2,464 plate appearances. He's played every position on the field, including two and two thirds innings on the mound. Although the bulk of his time in the big leagues has been spent at shortstop, defensive metrics have never loved him at that spot. Owings has an average or better rating at second base, at third base, and in the outfield. The left side of the Pirates infield is set already with youngsters Key Brian Hayes and O'Neill Cruz at third base and shortstop respectively. Rodolfo Castro and Bay and prospect Nick Gonzalez, who will be in camp as a non-roster player, are in the mix for the second base slot. One of Castro or Bay could land a utility job on the bench too. Though it's likely Gonzalez is headed to AAA for everyday reps, barring any upset win of the everyday job at second. The versatile Owings will join a, that competition for a utility spot off the bench. Owings is a lifetime 308 hitter in AAA, so he'll likely give the Bucks some production in the upper minors if he can't break the roster in this spring training. So getting a guy like Chris Owings, Owings where... He's not been that type of guy who will win jobs. He's that type of guy that will help you defensively, can hit the ball, can steal bases. He has the speed to do it. This is a good signing by the Pittsburgh Pirates, in other words, of him going out there and just saying, hey, I'm not here to steal anyone's spot. I'm here to be that defensive. You know, you need a bat in the lineup. I will be that type of guy. You want me to pinch hit for, the, for you? I will pinch hit. He is out there to prove that he is that utility guy where if there's an injury somewhere, he can fill in and he's versatile at every position. He's played catcher. He's played center field. Like not a lot of guys can play all positions at a decent rating or a decent average amount there. But Chris Owings can. So this is a good signing by the Pittsburgh Pirates where I almost called them the Penguins, the Pirates where they can afford to, hey, you know, you didn't crack our roster out of spring training. We just had too much competition. Go to AAA, get everyday reps, and when there's an injury, we'll call you up, and so on and so forth. So this is a huge, not a huge signing, but this is a good signing by the Pittsburgh Pirates for that aspect of things. But, hey, this is Gillis TV here on the channel. I'll catch you on the next one.